Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a Diophantine equation, an equation with integer solutions. We have x plus y plus xy equals 52, and we're going to be looking for x and y values. So for these kinds of equations, it's important to factor. So we're going to go ahead and write the xy term first, xy. And then I'm going to add the x plus y to it. That's our first step. And then notice that the first two terms can be factored. The common factor being x. So I can go ahead and write this as x times y plus 1. But this y is actually missing a plus 1. So that kind of indicates to add 1 to both sides. And sometimes this could be a different number. You might be adding 3, you might be adding 1 half, so on and so forth. But in this case, we're going to add 1 to both sides. So that's the motivation. Let's go ahead and add 1 to both sides. And then we're going to go ahead and factor this by grouping. Two groups. Take out x, y plus 1. And for y and 1, the only common factor or the greatest common factor is just 1. So we're going to take out a 1. You don't have to write it, but it's a little, you know, better if you do. 53. Okay, now, if we did it correctly, then we should get a common factor, right? So, and we did because we got y plus 1 as a common factor. So let's take it out. y plus 1 multiply by x plus 1. You could also write the x first. It's usually the convention. So let's go ahead and do that. Doesn't matter. Commutative property takes care of that x plus 1 multiply by y plus 1 equals 53. And guess what? 53 is a prime number. Great. That's good because we're not going to get that many solutions. So we're looking for integer solutions, so positive and negative, not just the positive ones. So we're going to be exploring all the options. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is how many ways you can factor 53. Since 53 is prime, you can basically do 1 and 53 or negative 1 and negative 53. And of course, they can switch around as well, right? So there is basically two ways to factor it. And x and y are basically interchangeable. You see the symmetry. They can be interchanged. So let's go ahead and look at each case. x plus 1 can be 53 and y plus 1 can be 1 because 53 times 1 is 53. So from here we get x equals 52 and y equals 0. So that's going to give us one of the solutions. At the end, we're going to write all the solutions as ordered pairs. So let's go ahead and proceed with another case. So I can kind of switch them around and write x plus 1 can be 1 and y plus 1 can be 53. From here, I get x equals 0, y equals 52. You could also do the following. You can just switch the x and y values and that'll give you the same thing. So far we got this and that. Let's do it for the next cases. So x plus 1 can also be negative 53 and y plus 1 can be negative 1 so that negative 53 times negative 1 is positive 53. From here we get x equals negative 54 and y equals negative 2 but switching the x and y around gives us x equals negative 2 and y equals negative 54. So that gives us another two cases, and in total, we're going to have four cases. So let's go ahead and take a look at the solutions, and let's go ahead and kind of write them together. So here's our solution set. We got negative 54 comma negative 2. We got negative 2 comma negative 54, which is the switched uh, version, if you just switch them around. And then we got the 0 comma 52 and 52 comma Zero. And that is going to be the entire solution set. So we have four solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.